here is your breathing video. So let's start with our hands like this. And when your thumbs touch, put that on your belly button for me. Uh, put your hands down. Gorgeous. What I would like you to do is give me a... Yeah? Okay, here we go. Could you feel this section of muscle pulsing in and out? If not, move your hands maybe a little bit higher or a little bit lower. Maybe put your hands here like this, wherever is comfortable for you. Put your hands on your hips. But keep giving me a... And having a feel around until you can feel where pulse is in and out the most. All together. Three, four. It should be around here. Have you found it? Beautiful. So what we're gonna do now is the same exercise, but I'd like you to voice it for me. So instead of a we have a so we're gonna go like you're rubbing a motorbike. You ready? All together. Three, four. And you should feel these muscles here pulsing in and out to help you make that sound. Okay, this time what we're going to do is I want you to give me two short and a longer and I want you to hold the longer until you start to run out of breath. Are you ready? Three, four. Mm -hmm. So at the end of that longer mm -hmm. as you started to run out of breath, you should feel all these muscles really, 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 really squeezing really tightly. Could you feel that? Yeah? Gorgeous. This time, I want you to do it again for me, but I want you to actively start to use those muscles to squeeze in. So the squeeze that you felt at the end as you were running out of breath, I want you to control that now, so you can control how much air is coming out. So again, two short moves and a longer move, and I want you to control these muscles this time. Here we go. <laughs> Yeah? Gorgeous. So what you will notice is that because you were controlling that mm, the sound didn't wobble and as you started to run out of breath it didn't get quieter or you had you didn't have loads of breath at the beginning and no breath in the sound at the end. The sound should have been on one level volume and it should have been a steady sound. And that is what happens when we say in class, make sure you're using your diaphragm, don't forget to support yourself. This is what this is what's happening. You're controlling that support so your sound is stable. So always make sure when you have a longer note or a higher note or um, a note that you are particularly struggling with, make sure that you are controlling that support. You're not just allowing um, your your tummy muscles to do what they want. You're not just panicking and hoping for the best. You are taking control of that muscle to breathe out. Quickly, what I'd also like to look at is how we breathe in. So, watch as I breathe in, these tummy muscles are gonna come out. Are you ready? <laughs> 